I find myself wondering, Jonathan, at a place like this, why something as tragic and painful as war is so frequently memorialized by, by beauty, by water, by light, by symbols that seem so far away. Does it ever strike you as an irony? Well, it, it does, and I think what, what soldiers who serve seek is the peace that you see in these kind of uh, environments. Soldiers and service members see the war as a necessary evil, but they seek the peace. For you, as you, you think about the figure that pretty much the whole world is thinking about this coming weekend with the release of Hacksaw Ridge, what are the qualities in Doss's life that you as a chaplain see worth us focusing on? Well, as chaplains, we work in a secular setting. Part of what I see in society is this real fragmentation of human, human beings, that, uh, you know, what you're at work, and what you do in your private life is separate. And so human beings are more fragmented in our society today. And what Desmond Doss does is shows his wholeness. Okay. His wholeness, his body, mind, his heart, and his spirit is one. And I think it just gives us all a great opportunity to have a God talk with people. What's the difference God makes in your life? As the stories unfold about how Doss's comrades uh, look to him, Maybe some of them thought of him like a good luck charm. Others genuinely seemed to respect his faith and, and, and didn't want to be in conflict if he wasn't there because they saw him as somehow a, I don't know, a spiritual force in the moment. And I do think that you could say there was a supernatural sense of what occurred. Because if you look at what happened at Okinawa, his company of 130 people, only 30 of them were pushed off. 100 were left up on top and he stayed there, and as they depicted in the movie, and we've seen it in his documentaries, he just asked, Lord, give me one more. A living reminder, some would call it, of how we might expect Jesus to ask, act in that situation. Yes. That, yes, the, the unconcern about himself, the, the concern for other people who are in difficult, desperate moments. Doss has a certain ability to resist the pressures around him to conform to what everyone else is doing, even when it comes to his own safety. Talk to me for a moment about that value as an Adventist value. Our, our view of where we are in history has often underlined the importance of being distinctive, differentiating ourselves from the culture. Doss seemed to do that in a remarkable way. He, he did it while he stayed in the culture. I, I think go. part of what we miss is he was as good a soldier as anyone else. The, the skills you needed on the battlefield, he understood, and he that's how he operated. But what I see with Doss is our focus of creation, that God created us in the image of God. And, and as Adventists, we take that serious in many ways. I recently heard a sermon on uh, Matthew 14 about Peter walking on the water when Christ called him. And, and Christ asked Peter, why did you doubt me when he uh, he began to sink. He trusted the power of the waves over the power of Christ. And he began, and I think with Doss, we find a human being that what he did on that ridge, he totally trusted Christ's power. I, I see something there that the, the, real, the heroes and the saints through history, they have somehow already achieved a sense of peace about their own circumstances and thus act with what looks like fearlessness to the rest of us. That is right. Whether they survive or not, there's this sense of uh, selflessness. But also, I think with, with uh, Desmond, when you look at the poll, 75 to 100 people off the battlefield, uh, there was this clear sense that he had no doubt that God would use him. You know, recognizing that there's somebody out there, wounded, hurting, who's really in need of help at a moment. We don't even know who they are just yet. That's right. And this is Doss's commitment, not just to buddies, but to anyone who's out there who's lost. That's right. Right.